Today, we are gonna wreck a seared bluefin two ways with a passion fruit jalapeno sauce over the top. Hey, what's going on people? Just recently, I was out in the Pacific and I caught a bluefin tuna with a few of my friends. Tuna! So let me show you what we've got on the lineup today for our ingredients. I have obviously the bluefin loin. I have two tablespoons of granulated sugar. I have both black and white toasted sesame seeds. I have a teaspoon of sesame oil. I have two jalapenos, six large passion fruit, half a cup of butter, and a small bunch of chives. So let's get cracking. It's just a passion fruit graveyard. I killed them all. They're dead. Gonna take these and use a spoon. I'm just gonna scrape these out like so. Take some olive oil, a little bit in your pan. I'm gonna take half of my jalapenos, half a cup of butter. Just let it start to lather up all of that jalapeno goodness. And as that's happening, I'm gonna take some sugar. So we wanna have sweet, but it's still a strong kick. So I'm gonna leave this now, I'm gonna drop the heat right down. I'm gonna take my passion fruit and I just wanna give it a blend so that I can chop up all of the little seeds, get our glaze coming back again. I'm gonna let that heat up because this is what I'm gonna drizzle all over that fish. It's just gonna be absolutely gorgeous. I wanna let this render down a little bit because I want it to thicken up so that when I pour it over the tuna, it doesn't just wash down to the plate. I want it to be able to sit and retain up there. Here you'll see a second chopping board that I've been soaking in water you're gonna see why in just a minute. I'm gonna slice this in half. I'm gonna bring this skillet up to heat, because remember, we're doing two ways. This is gonna happen really fast. Pay attention, searing, flaming. Taking some black sesame oil, adding to said pan. We're gonna take our first loin, and I'm going to add it here, and at the same time, I have my Jimmy Rig regular people, I don't have them bougie chef torches. You're gonna start to tear the outside. Look at that color starting to already come in. Look at those colors. You can see why I've needed to wet down my chopping board. Okay, and that's all she wrote. So I have here a sushi knife given to me by my friend Jeff. My name is Jeff. Um, it has a bevel on one side, so that as you cut it, it moves with the grain of the fish. I'm not a sushi chef. Stop your criticism. Calm down. It's gonna be all right, okay? So now we have our two sections of loin, and you can see I have here now a bed of arugula, and we're gonna create two lanes. Let's finish with our final garnishings. Let's get our black sesame. We just want this to look amazing. Now, let's take the sauce. Sauce, sauce. Don't be saucy with me, Bernays. We're gonna drizzle it now. I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of pepper, more jalapeno right there. Finishing with some freshly chopped chives. If I was sitting at a restaurant and this came to my table, I would be super happy and probably have a very big bill on my hand. Visually, it's impressive. You've got the greens, you've got the reds, you've got the seared vanilla colors. Let's go in and taste it, folks. I am very excited. I'm just gonna try the uh, flame seared one first. Wow. Wow. That's almost dessert sushi. And the passion fruit seeds just keep crunching in your mouth, so it's kind of cool. Let's try this next one. Bluefin tuna, everybody. Bottoms up. Bumblebee tuna! This is something completely different. It's a pleasant surprise. It's delicious. It has all these different flavors. Believe it or not, the one that was pan seared is a little bit more mild in flavor. This was almost like a rare this is like a medium rare. Guys, this is amazing. If you follow one of these recipes each week, you're gonna take yourself out of the box of norm. Stretch your boundaries, do something a little different. Go get some bluefin tuna from your fish market. If you've got passion fruit or a fruit similar like mango or something like that, do this and just sit down and enjoy. God bless, have a wonderful week. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have enjoyed this video, hit the notifications button and please share. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Wrecker yourself. Check out.